Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Ali Dagger and today we're going to be making maple bran muffins. So first you want to start with your two eggs. I'm just going to pour it into the bowl and then break down the yolks and um, get those all broken up. Next I'm going to add the sour cream and the maple syrup and we're going to beat that on low until they get all incorporated together. Alright, I'd say that that's mixed pretty well. Next we're going to add our dry ingredients. So here I have a mixture of flour, baking soda, and bran flakes. And you can find bran flakes at any supermarket. Uh, it's just the cereal. And I kind of crushed it up a little bit before I added it in. And then mixed them all together and we're going to add them in two additions. So I'm going to put the first addition in. And beat that well. one. All right, so now that that's fully incorporated, we're going to let the muffin mix sit for about five minutes, and then I'm going to start loading up my muffin pans. All right, so this has been sitting for five minutes, and the reason we wanted to let it sit was so that the bran breaks down and the texture of the muffin will be better once it's baked and the mouthfeel. And so now I'm gonna add um, the chopped hazelnuts and just fold those in. And then I'm going to portion it out so that um, the muffins are three quarters of the way full. So the muffin tins are just prepared with just by lightly greasing them. You can use um, melted butter or you can use um, one of the, the sprays, the oil sprays, and just spray them down. So right now the oven is preheating to 400 degrees. These muffins are ready to go into the 400 degree oven for 15 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean from the center. So while your muffins are baking in the oven, you want to make your sauce that you're going to be dipping them in. So first, I'll turn this on high. You add your butter in. It's really simple. And your maple syrup. And then you're just going to let that heat up and mix together. And once it's thoroughly mixed, then we're going to start pouring it into our muffin pans. All right, so this is good and mixed. So once our, uh, our muffins come out of the oven, I'm going to start take the muffins out of their pans and pour this into the bottom and reserve some for dipping the tops in. So as, as, as soon as our muffins come out of the oven, we want to take the muffin out. It's really easy if you've greased the pans well. And just put them on a plate so that you can start pouring your syrup into the bottom of the pans. And it's important to do this while they're hot so that the muffins will absorb the syrup more easily. If they're cold, they probably won't take the syrup in as, as well. So I've separated it into the dipping bowl and then I'm going to use this um, measuring cup to pour just a little bit of the syrup in the bottom of each little muffin tin. 
and you don't need all that much. Just enough to stick the muffin in there and have the bottom get all nice and syrupy. Because you're gonna be dipping the top in, so you're gonna get syrup on that side too. So now we're gonna take our muffin and just dip the top in there nice and good. Flip it over and then just pop it back into its tin. So I'm just gonna continue to do this and get every muffin nice and maple syrupy. And then we're going to let these sit for 15 minutes and serve them right away. So as you can see, our muffins are glazed and soaked up and looking beautiful. Um, and they're ready to be eaten. So grab your fork or get your hands dirty and enjoy.